Hi, Andrew here. Let's do some more hipster 6.5 millimeter Grendel today. Today we're taking a look at Hornady Black 123 grain ELD. We're going to fire it from a 12 inch ALG upper into some calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. Let's get out to the range and take a look. All right, guys, this is hardly surprising. Everybody knows that 6.5 Grendel is an absolute beast. Lots of fragmentation, which you would expect from Hornady's line of expanding ballistic tipped type ammo because it expands and drops a bunch of lead and copper fragments in other calibers. Why shouldn't it here? Big, huge temporary stretch cavity, lots of fragmentation throughout, some nice big chunks here and here. Total penetration, 19.7 inches. Neck, one inch. Temporary stretch cavity, nine inches by four inches. Outstanding performance. Yes, it's a little deep for home defense. If you prescribe to the whole over penetration concern. Let's take a look at the projectile. That is beautiful. Nice, smooth, uniform expansion. Jacket material is just streaming out behind it like it's a freaking meteor. Absolutely perfect. It held together pretty well despite blowing off chunks of it as it expanded. Otherwise, the jacket stayed with the core. It's pretty decent. Let's get some good measurements and some photographs and all that when we get home. All right, before we get into the terminal performance, I want to thank Nathan Boer at Aimed Research for providing the camera that was used for that amazing high-speed footage. If you want to make legitimate high-speed imagery like that yourself, get in touch with Aimed Research. We'll leave their contact information in the description. Now, how did it do terminally? Well, pretty good. It did exceed the FBI 18-inch max. We've talked about that before. I do believe that it's not nearly as important as some people make it out to be. But yes, it exceeded that maximum. That doesn't necessarily make it bad ammunition. It would still be perfectly suitable for defense, in my opinion. And if you wanted to use it for hunting or other purposes like that, it's obviously excellent for those purposes. However, from this barrel length and at this range, the Hornady Custom 123 grain SST did outperform the Hornady Black 123 grain ELD. I know it's, <laughs> it's mincing fairly fine points, but if you were to choose between one or the other, I would choose the 123 grain SST as it perform they both performed very well but the SST did come in under the FBI 18 inch max and the ELD came in just over the 18 inch max either way they would be fantastic choices for defense very short neck big huge temporary stretch cavity lots of expansion lots of fragmentation it just generally made a mess of things I know that 6.5 millimeter Grendel is probably not the most popular caliber out there for home defense, but if you have a rifle chambered in it and you're looking for defensive ammunition, this is not a terrible choice. If you disagree with me or if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below and follow us over to the discussion at the forum. I will leave a link in the description for that. Have a great day.